Hey, how's it going guys? It's Shut Door or Door Should I come back to you with episode 4 of A Step Back. And today, I quickly want to talk about Storage Drawers Extras. So, this mod has an issue, and I will be fixing it. It's just going to take me a little while to get fixed first. Um, so, basically, these do not have any or dictionary tags by default, right? I've actually went ahead and added... Uh, a few of these, right? So these basic drawers currently have the uh, the drawer basic tag. You can see that it's under or dictionary entries. Um, and the reason you need this is because you can actually craft all of the other stuff with this tag. Um, I've just added this uh, literally like two minutes ago. Um, so I'm going to get the rest of these fixed so you can actually use them like normal. Uh, but if I actually go to add storage drawer... And you can see here that all of these have the drawer basic tag. So they're all going to get it. Um, no special treatment really here. But I needed to add this because eucalyptus is one of the woods I have. And I was trying to make an upgrade. And now I can, which is fantastic here. So let's actually make this upgrade. I actually need iron. And I need a uh, upgrade for this, this uh, drawer. So let's grab this right click with that and we can store more cobblestone so i've been doing some work a little bit kind of just have a little balcony i've made stairs all the way down um kind of just been kind of doing some off-camera work really not a whole lot of mining or anything uh there's also this room down here now which is under the stairs just kind of wanted to use the space for something at least i'm thinking power generation probably down here uh, I'm not 100% sure, you know, it's all up in the air, really. So, I also wanted to show you guys something about this. So you can see that this has got liquid in there, but it's not going anywhere, because it can't, because it's not a full block. So I made fluid ducts uh, a little while ago, and these are just two copper and a glass, and then I made two servos, which is just one recipe, two iron, two iron nuggets, one glass, one redstone, and what you can do is you can actually come over here and you can just pipe out this fluid. Of course, this does need a redstone signal by default. But if we just, you know, pump this over here, you can see there's fluid in here. So it's going to just keep pushing until it's empty. But we're making those ingots. And this is because if you accidentally forget to turn off your lever, which if you didn't know, supplying a constant redstone signal to the seared faucet will just keep draining. Sometimes it needs to be toggled just so it remembers, hey, I have fluid. It just happens every once in a while. But that's a way to do it. And uh, yeah. So what are we going to do this episode? That is something that we can figure out real quick here. So let me put some of this stuff away. Since I've just kind of been building. And not doing a whole lot extra. We are probably going to look into actually additions. I think we can do that, right? I think we have what we need to do that just gonna toss some of this stuff away here real quick all right so actually additions is one of the mods that is kind of a tech mod mixed with a few other pieces and let's get started so intro to the manual we kind of need to look at crystals and reconstructors, I believe. So this, coal generator and crystals and reconstructors, all right? All right, so the crystals and reconstructor, basically we need an atomic reconstructor. That is this block, okay? The atomic reconstructor basically uses energy, sends out like a laser into certain items and converts them into something else. So, for example, redstone block turns into restonia crystal block, lapis lazuli block turn into palace crystal block, the diamond to dynamite, or diamatin, emerald turns into emeratic, uh, coal turns into void, iron turns into nori, and then they have their crystal form, okay? And, of course, crafting, vice versa. I believe there's some other stuff you can do with these... But I'm not seeing it here. Okay, looks like that's it. So, 
Now, let's get into this. So uh, we need something to actually power this. So we're actually gonna create a coal generator. Coal generator requires two coal, six cobblestone, and an iron casing. An iron casing is four iron. Oh yeah, we actually have a village near here, didn't we? Uh, there was... Oh goodness, I can't remember the, the actual thing for this now. There is a shift M, that's why I changed it to. Yeah, there's this village over here, right? That's the right direction? Okay. There was a village with the uh, actually additions house that had iron casings and stuff. If I don't have to waste resources, I don't want to waste resources. So let's actually go check that out. And I think we can try and pick up some of the stuff that is over here. I think some of it will break. Like it doesn't actually allow you to pick it up, which is interesting. And uh, some of it you can. So let's actually try and do that real quick. Could always use some bones. Good handles, right? All right, so where was this actually addition's house? Was it this one? I think it was this one. Okay, where's the entrance to this house? So we've got, yeah, this house here. So I believe like this stuff, yeah, see how it just disappears? But not all of it. Not all of it will disappear. Remember that. So like all these wooden casings we can take. This coal generator won't allow for us to take this. This. This is also an atomic reconstructor, by the way. But yeah, there's some iron casings. We can take these storage crates. I know that. I couldn't care about this, the quartz stairs, really, though. Alright. So we've got a few things here. Of course, we couldn't take everything. Which is okay. I think that makes it a little bit more balanced, in my opinion. Having a few iron casings and stuff is going to be a good thing. I'm not really worried about everything else. Alright, so let's get up here and get back to the house. And I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we've got a coal generator. And I think we're just going to go downstairs to place this stuff. So, we're going to put this in the corner. Let's just put it right here. Oop, not right there. Right here. We're going to toss some coal in here so it can actually start generating. And we're going to grab an atomic reconstructor. So, this is four iron, four redstone, and an iron casing. Not too, too bad. Especially because we've got tinkers, you know, giving us the ore doubling. Which is so fantastic. I miss old-fashioned ore doubling. Alright, so we should be able to craft this up. And we're also going to need a button of some sort. So let's actually grab... Uh, let's see. Piece of stone, most likely. Yeah, there's a... Actually, I got a button right here. I took it off of that other atomic reconstructor, apparently. So, now I've got a button. Let's put this right here. And let's just put a piece of cobblestone right here. So, we'll put this down. And I guess we do need a redstone torch real quick. Hold on. So the reason it's firing is because it needs a toggle by a redstone torch. I don't actually have sticks on me, apparently. There's one. So if you make a redstone torch, and you hold it, and then you right-click on this, you can see it says pulse. There's deactivation, and then there's pulse. So pulse is what we want because it will allow for it to build up some power, right? And then when we are ready, so whenever we've dropped our redstone or diamonds or emeralds here, we'll then press the button, right? So we have that big buildup of power and then the ability to, you know, change this into the material we need, okay? So I think one of the things that I wanted to try and get first was the farmer from Actually Editions. Let me press F3H real quick here. Um, the Actually Editions farmer, I believe, should allow for us to do saplings, right? 
Or was I wrong about this? Doodly do. Okay, maybe I was wrong about the sapling one. What was I thinking? So I know we can definitely look at getting better power generation first. Even if we don't worry about tree farm right now, right? I think worrying about a better source of power is probably not a bad idea. Um, and to do that, canola. Canola is actually one of the other tiers of power from actually additions. Um, if we actually look, if I can remember how to spell uh, canola. All right, so right here we've got, oh, where is it at? It's because I put an O instead of an A. That's okay. Um, but we've got canola oil, which is what we actually need to make. And canola oil then can be turned into refined canola. And then this actually can be used in apparently a few machines here. So actually, if you wanted to, you could change over into thermal. But I believe there was something else, like energized canola. And here's the crystallized canola seeds. This is what I was thinking. And you can make empowered canola seeds. And I don't remember what empowered canola seeds can do. Okay, so basically, from what I can see, is that you take the empowered uh, canola seeds, you toss them into canola oil, and then that'll actually give you empowered oil. At least I believe it's canola oil, right? Um, no, crystallized oil. That's what this thing says. So crystallized oil, if I can type here. So there's another type of fuel. So if you're not satisfied with the power that generates, place the refined canola oil on the ground and throw it in the crystallized canola to make crystallized oil. If that isn't enough, okay, so this is actually where we needed to look. I would think it would be down further, but that's my bad. Um, so yeah, empowered oil is the best fuel type from actually additions, and we can use that for you know different things, such as Ender IO or uh, the compression dynamo from thermal expansion. Either that or the oil generator from actually additions as well, but it doesn't just it doesn't show up inside of the JEI, which is fine. So we do have options for basically every tech mod available to us, right? So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's actually start gearing towards that. I think that sounds like a good option. So if we actually look at a farmer. All right. So real quick, I just made sure that the farmer can't do sapling. So this is for purely seeds, right? So let's get into this. So we actually need four blocks of Anori crystals, which if you don't know, that is four blocks of iron converted into the uh, empowered version, basically, right? So let's actually grab some of this and let's make up some blocks. So this is definitely not going to be a cheap system at all. Um, but I want to kind of, I, I want to kind of go into this as, hey, this could be our power source for a while. Of course, we might not get into crazy, crazy amounts of automation currently, but I think having like refined canola oil would probably be a decent source of power for now until we get into, um, you know, refined storage or applied energistics, which I actually haven't decided yet. Uh, but we have a farmer. All right. So now that we have this, we could actually start looking at farming stuff. Um, I think I have canola seeds in here. I have canola pieces and I actually have canola seeds here. So I think I want to attempt to try and make a self-sustaining canola farm. Uh, attempt. Keyword here. There's also biomass. Bio coal. Huh. Did not know there was such thing as bio coal in here, but it smelts four items. 
All right, we won't be doing that though, because that seems like a very, very big waste of time. But let's go try this out, right? So for canola power, right, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need like the fermentation. Let's actually check real quick. So I want to make sure I don't just run out of here without anything. Uh, canola oil. So do to do. So canola press to make canola oil. Okay, this can be used in an oil generator. For starters, you can use a fermenting barrel to convert the canola oil into refined. So fermenting and canola press. So fermenting. Right, so fermenting and canola press. We'll get rid of everything else. So it looks like we'll need some more Anori crystals. So let's actually go quickly make some of those. One, two, three, four. Let's just get four of those. Smack that. There we go. Perfect. Also, the coal generator does stop whenever there is full power on everything. So that is a good thing to know. Uh, actually, additions cares about your power consumption. All right. So we need actual logs here. Uh, it should be over yonder. All right, so fermenting canola press, which is an advanced coil. So four of this and a black quartz. Okay. Not too difficult. Just get a handful of that. Why not? Does not sound like a bad idea at all. Alrighty. So advanced, basic. And it looks like it has forced you to kind of keep an eye on canola at the very beginning of the game because you do need a singular piece of canola and we are not really in a good spot for gold but i'm going to use this piece nevertheless because we need to get towards this all right so we've got the canola press we've got the fermentation and i think we'll need an oil generator of some sort i think oh we'll just stick with we'll stick with actually additions for now, I think. That sounds like a good option for me. Uh, two iron casings, which require sticks, which I do not have any. So let's actually just make some. And then what else did we need? Black quartz. All right, and there is an oil generator. And where are we going to place this thing? I think we could just straight up come down here, clear this out a little bit, and then do that here probably. Let me do that and I'll be right back. All righty, so what I've done is I've quickly cleared out a little bit of area. I've kind of flattened out the front of the base, and I've cleared out this little chunk and we are going to build the farm here but of course chunk 16 by 16 so we kind of need to figure out where to place this so this has a 9 by 9 radius right so let's actually make sure we have the full farm that that's it that is what the radius is right so a 9 by 9 um so if we go one two three four mark so this is the center of the farm. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, mark. And that is our farm location. All right. So we're going to have, probably going to push this back one, actually. So right here, mark here, because we need to have space to place all of our power generation stuff as well. Um, the next thing is, is actually getting a water bucket, getting some water placed down, and also getting enough canola and everything. We'll also need some walls. So there's a few things we need to grab real quick here. So let's go upstairs. 
Uh, let's see. So 18 canola seeds. I actually have F3H back open here. And uh, I thought... Oh yeah, I put some stuff in this crate here. So I got actual canola. We can put that back into canola seeds. And then... What else did I need? Walls. So let's actually make some walls here. Alright. And then... A bucket. Let's go back down. I also need to figure out food, like soon. Kind of keep running out of uh, out of stuff to eat, so that's something we'll probably need to figure out sooner or later. There's a lot of horses spawning around here, that's for sure. Probably could see about these coconuts. Do coconuts actually have anything I can do? Yeah, let's go punch one of these trees. All right, and that did not fall. I think I need to have like a, a leaf decay mod or something installed because these leaves do not decay. But we can grab a coconut here. No? There we go. Uh, then use. Okay, so we can't eat these or anything, right? Nope, but we can make pina coladas. Oh, sadness. Well, it's worth a shot. I really didn't know if we could eat them or not. But that's okay. Pina coladas, huh? I mean, Tropic Craft doesn't sound like a bad dimension to go to, you know? We could look into it. All right, so let's see here. Just munch down in these berries, clear up some inventory space anyway. So one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna move these torches to the wall here. There we go. One, two, three, four, here, here, and here. And one, two, three, four here. All right. So that is our wall, right? We have placed this down correctly. Now we need to get a hoe. Uh, and I think we could actually just quickly craft one up here so we don't have to run back upstairs. Let's just grab a nice wooden hoe. Till up all the field. Oop, what are we getting? We're getting worms from actually additions, which I kind of forgot existed. But I think I remember what these guys do, so we might actually be able to use them a little bit here. Um, all right, so canola seeds already have them in my inventory. So if I remember correctly, worms actually help fertilize a 3x3 three three area, I think. Let's check. Place down our dirt and grass, help you till the land around them in a 3x3 three three area, keep it wet. Additionally, they will help crops grow faster by making the ground nice and soft. So if we place this guy down, okay, and then if we, you know, keep tilling here. But there we go. Oh, I guess I forgot to... There we go. We can just fill in the rest. So, now what we need to do is give this power, right? Power is where we're going next. So, we need a canola press and a fermenting barrel. So, the canola itself... We're actually just going to place the torch back here or something. So, the canola needs to go in here. And this is only going to be canola. And that's actually the wrong thing. It's canola press, and then fermenting barrel, and then the oil generator. Alright. So let's actually go grab some more stuff. So I need item ducts and probably some fluid ducts, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I think I've got everything I need. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll find out, right? So, first things first, we need to get the item ducts down. And I've just grabbed some opaque ones, and we're going to put this here. And we're going to say whitelist 
canola, which I don't think I actually have, so we might need to snag some from here, maybe. I don't think we have any grown. No, we don't. There's a piece down here. Let's just go grab that. Make things a little simpler, right? Snag this. So this piece right here, the one I'm holding is what I need. I don't need the seed. I need to see this. So this is all we're allowing. We're going to say ignore the redstone signal. So it's going to go in here, which this actually needs power too, which is going to be a problem, I think, but that's okay. So here, 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 and here. We might have to go grab a coal generator to jumpstart this, which is, is not going to be a problem, I don't think. So uh, then we're going to do a fluiduct here, ignore redstone signal, and then that should be fine. Right? I think this should be the system in its entirety. It's kind of simple, but I think it should work. So... We need some sort of jump start. So let's go make another coal generator. I think that'll work. Just so we can get this off the ground. Um, get a little bit of power going. And we'll see what happens, right? So uh, I need redstone. I need iron. And I need sticks. So we need an iron case. Or um, let's just look up coal generator. I think we need two iron casings. No, just one. And then a piece of black quartz. Alright, so now we need... A couple pieces of coal. And some cobblestone, I think is what it was. Yes. And we're actually going to grab a little bit more coal so we can actually start this. Man, it's going to be so good whenever we actually have food. Because <laughs> I am completely out of it. But that's okay. We'll get there. I think we'll probably get a uh, wheat farm after we get this kind of sorted. Because we should have an overabundance, right? At some point. So we're going to throw some coal in here. And everything should start getting some power, right? Because the only thing that needs power is this thing, this thing... And it should start powering this. So we should be able to take this out now. Right? There we go. And remember that this will only use power... Like, this will only output power when these machines need it. So once these machines are full, this should back power, right? This should have its internal buffer fill. So that way, whenever it th it things need power, it should send out. Okay? Um... And you can see that since this is not operating in any capacity, that we are getting a decent chunk of power in there. All right. And what should happen is we should sooner or later have an overflow of refined canola oil that we then can use elsewhere in the base to generate power. That is kind of the goal. Um, I believe canola can be used for other things as well. What else can this be used for? Let's see. Canola... Canola can be used for not really a whole lot. Scratch that. Not a whole lot. All right. Um, but if we wanted to, of course, the canola seeds could be made into biomass, which then can be made into the uh, coal, coke stuff, bio coal. And then bio coal can be used as energy if we really wanted to as well. But yeah, this is actually working pretty decently here. 80 CF or crystal flux per tick for 120 ticks per 50 millibuckets, huh? So that's full. So we should have the internal buffer kind of filling up on this. Actually, on these pipes first because I forgot they have an internal buffer. So that's full. Now this should be getting full, right? So with that, we should be able to kind of get a better power system going um, overall, because we'll have a backup of basically everything sooner or later. But that is kind of the start of actually additions, right? We've got the canola going. Um, we probably won't get into energized or um, the crystallized versions in a, like for a while, right? Because we need empowered. We need a whole bunch of other stuff. But I think this is a good start for just power itself. Uh, wireless power, by the way, 
is going to be interesting because we have Quantum Flux, which is going to be an expensive thing to get into nevertheless. So with that, we are going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!